bad. Bad quality. I don't know my phone's being so janky. So I am still doing ACR grind. <clears throat> what I've been waiting for, I kind of like didn't do a good job of budgeting my tickets. Or I did, but I made an assumption that I would get more tickets from um, daily selects slash token shop pipes slash multiplayer pipes, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, and I was left with one driver cap ticket too short. So I had for the last like week nine driver caps and I needed ten to triple cap Ty Daisy. So I've using her on four tracks. I have saved all of those tracks except for well, I've saved all of them. I did get a run an okayish run on um, Riverside Park N which is a 4-box track. I think 154 actions where the target is 160. Let's look if I can fix this um, camera. Pan. No, that just makes it worse. Yeah, so anyways, uh, I've been waiting for a while for this cap ticket to be able to to triple cap daisy, and I finally got it this morning in my daily selects. So I triple capped her and I can finally grind those tracks. place to use these boxes like right away. I'm I'm still pretty new to this track so I've raced it a few times just to produce badges but other than that I haven't really done a serious like any grass serious grinding on this track. So I'm still kind of feeling my way out where is the where is the right point to to grind. Um, where is the right point to use single boxes? Because it's pretty tricky with all the ramps it's not immediately completely obvious. How do I take this line going under this Noshi without messing up badly? For example, this is a single and a coin box. Target here is 215. Um, doesn't seem like it should be too hard because this is a 6 box track, not a 4 box. Like, like some of the other RT variants. RP variants right there.
pretty dead tonight. Everybody must be out partying. I wonder what is going on. Should ping everyone on the server. Do that in a minute. I don't think anybody else is streaming Mario Kart Tour tonight, right? Carlos is streaming, but he's streaming uh, Pokemon in German. Okay, let's ping everybody. I'm not sure if this is the if it's good to use the single box right away there or wait till after that jump. Still, this looks like a pretty okay first lap so far. I'm not sure how hard difficult 200 is here. It seems like double coin and two single boxes would get you close if they're good single boxes. <laughs> Hey turtles, it's not afternoon for me. Bots don't seem too angry here, which is nice. Jelly, how's it going, man? Sorry for the everyone ping. I will do something with rolls to make sure that only the people that want to be pinged get pinged. Something to like what Carlos does with the, with the live stream notifications, but I haven't figured it out yet, so you get this. Hey Avi, how you doing? Thank you for joining my television show. How's the sound? Is it okay? I keep losing sound. Banana Frenzy. I'm not sure if a Banana Frenzy is something I can work with in the first box. Or 200 action run anyway, so... It would have to be a single box in the next... Uh, you need a role for that. Yeah, you need a role, but you also need a bot that will um, let people assign themselves the roles. So I made a role, but I have to set up a bot, which I don't know. Um, which would take effort. <laughs> uh, so I'll probably look into it after this tour. I don't really have time for that kind of stuff right now. Too busy grinding. Man, I got that song from the 3DS, um, the music from the 3DS Rainbow Road in my head because I watched the trailer for the Mario, K Mario Kart 8 DLC. It's gonna be so good. I like eating rolls. Okay. Oh, because, yeah, of a roll. Okay, we'll, we'll give you a special roll that you like eating rolls. What 
type of rolls. Rolls of coins, probably. Roll of pennies. Where is Draco? I need Draco in here. He's, he would love the stream. It's all about Ty Daisy. Take a shot every time I hit restart. Yeah, the stream will be about 10 minutes then. I just never restart. Hey Brian, how's it going, man? I'm good, how are you? Thank you for coming to my television show. sound for you guys, because for whatever reason, something's going on where I don't have any sound on my, um, here, I'm going to put the sound, I'm going to change it, I'm boomboxing on uh, Rock Rock Mountain T, I love that track. would love it if a high-end boomerang driver would get that one. Is there one already? Okay, yeah, so I think I want to save the box till after this jump, but mm, no, it's not really that good, is it? And I need to use it here, kind of. Maybe it's better to just use that one right away. Sixty-three here. I missed the coins off that. Need to do it to keep a good line. Well, the coins are kind of an inconvenience. 70 actions first lap, that's not good enough. Oh, that was banana and single. Okay, banana's no good. Sand is fine. Okay, let me turn it up a little bit. We've lost the in game sound. How about now? shouldn't fiddle. Yeah, I think just using it here, even though that turn is like kind of sharp, I'm not going to get a lot of coins. Single boxes are not like so good on this. We've lost the in-game sound. Let me know if it's back, So I think it should be back. And let me know if I need to turn it up. Let me know if you guys want some music. Still no in-game sound. Okay. That was a two-coin single. Three. Yeah, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm still kind of feeling this track out. <laughs> I don't know how. Um, desktop mic auxiliary. I don't really know the best place to use single boxes. I was looking at my um, coin total and I had 24 coins and I was like, I thought I had two single boxes and not one. Okay, just my voice now. Okay, I got my sound back and you guys don't have sound now. That's so annoying. Also, hey Lunar, how's it going? This 
track kind of looks annoying with coin box to be fair. It, I don't think it's as bad as T. I don't think it's as bad as T, honestly. And to live as a good OnlyFans voice, yeah, you wish. We have sound back. Okay, good. I guess you're fiddling with OBS settings. Uh, and now my game quality is going to start suffering, of course. It's getting choppy. Is back, thank you. Now it's going again. Oh, what did I do? Um, okay. Stop eating your sound. I can't help it, I'm hungry. Let me know if it's okay now. I don't know why I have to do this every time. Get an iPhone. No. I will not. Daisy screeching like a monkey, perfect. You don't like how Daisy screeches? Who would you rather have scream in your ear for half an hour, Daisy or Dixie? Yeah, I really have to use that. If I get a single box in the first one, I have to use it right away. They're like kind of close together, aren't they? I guess it's not a very long track, so... This is not good. You know, I like these tracks as more. I wish they had more boxes. I think this one's okay. I, the ones with two boxes on the map, I think, feel a little bit empty. I was doing the end version earlier. Let's get two boxes per track. And it's kinda like a it's like kinda like grinding a Ghost Valley or Bowser's Castle one where you really just you can basically only be really set for one box when it's in the first box.
shots aren't going to be too high. That is a better place for a single box. doesn't matter now, only at the end. The top 10 right now will not remain. Acceptable run. 62-257. I've dropped the combo once. I think it's 200. Yep, 206. That was double coin box. Coin and a single and only 206. That's kind of a weak run, but whatever we take it. Coin box. No, coin. This is the wrong. <laughs> this is the wrong one. Oops. Um, Riverside Park RT. Two oh six and sixty two two five seven. One three four five under the target. Not fantastic. For, especially for the sequence I got, but enough that I don't need to go back. Um, cool. Um, so next, I think we can go to. Um, from George, or I don't know. 
do Mushroom Gorge. We got the uh, Armored Rider, and let's go with the Black Star Shoot. Blooper Glider always better. Yeah, I used to, used to be typing ASMR. Cool, cool. Yeah, that was a hack sequence later, and it was a bad run for the sequence too. But I'm just... It, how many tracks do I have left? Um, I don't have that many tracks right down. But I have like quite some tracks where I have to pick this one. I need to go back and prove it. See, this one's in orange, like Cookie Land, Sky Garden, and um, Baby Park. I have a big deficit, and also, like this one. And this one I grinded with Meowser before I realized I was using PD Piranha Suit. So I got a decent run there with Meowser, but if you look at, if you put the base points down, it looks like an alright score, right? And if you put them back up, Oh, I'm missing 7k. So that's not good. Okay, Mushroom Gorge. We are looking for 220 actions and a target of 63. 6, so as usual, I will just take whatever I can get. 200 plus. I don't think this one should take too terribly long to do 200 plus. This is been awesome. Um, ACR is totally good. Just the battle tracks have really kind of killed it. Because I really don't feel any like confidence in putting up a decent score. I feel like there's just so much RNG to get in a decent sequence. Not that I'm like the most skilled player or whatever, but it's really just brute forcing a 
ridiculously good sequence it went quickly also. So that's kind of annoying. Hey Janice, how's it going man? How are you doing? Just gotta run on um, Riverside Park RT. 26 actions with the sequencer. I probably should have got more like 220 actions, but whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Just got 199 actions on Riverside Park T. Yo, that's awesome. That's a crazy. Uh, I think that's probably a world record. Dude. You should post it. I hope you get a screenshot. What was the sequence? Posted somewhere in Discord, and the guys who do the world records, it's probably a good Because you should definitely get that entered as a world record. If it is a world record, I don't know for sure that it is, but I cannot imagine that it's going to be better. Now you can post it in this server. But you can post it in other servers also.
just gonna put coin box because I wanted to finish first. I don't know why. Thomas, are you lurking without saying hi? You shouldn't do that. Why don't you take the glider path in the cave? Because the other path is more actions, right? I don't know, I've never done this track really with coin box before. Because I always use like Donkey Kong Jr. or whatever. Simpsons donut. Sprinkles, that sounds good. I'm hungry. What's more actions left or right?
see if we get more coming up here. But I guess when it's on the rollers, you kind of want it down there. Okay, this is the lobby. No badges, no coin box. Just one box, 72 actions for a slap. This should be pretty easy to record, I guess. This is a lot easier than R. Our version I really struggled to get to 200. Yeah, I just, um, I, I had nine, uh, driver cap tickets, also already for like a week, and I needed ten to triple cap for daily, and it finally showed up in my shop this morning, so I was able to triple cap right now, I'm doing her tracks. So I already got a run on, um, Riverside Park RT, I did Riverside Park N earlier, I got an okay run, which I would like to improve if possible, but interesting time I kind of moved on. Let's see here I got where is it Riverside Park and uh, 154 actions, 160 target and almost 3k short of the target. 3k short is not that awful when you have an expectation that's like 60-70k but if it's like 50k it's something like and honestly you know, if I get doubled coin box, single box, there should be able to beat 160. And that is, you know, you always want to go for extra actions over the target. The target is below 200. If you can do that, you really, um, that's, that gives you a big advantage. You can really score the target. Because every extra action is going to be low dots. You can do like 300 points for a single action.
are these bots so mean? They're like completely bad for us. Okay, 90 actions for this lab. One break. stream later what are you up to? Also are you doing ACR this week? It's already better. Okay, perfect. I'm having struggles with my sound and game sound and OBS and stuff. I'm just not good at this like streaming thing. Definitely a different level in the amount of aggression between that and this. that I have full badgeless bots and they're still like super aggressive with 67. Yeah. Uh, 
your game. Volume down, it's so loud. Okay. How's that? Is that better? Is that better? Tickle box. I maybe need to finish a, a race or two and get into a better starting position or something. Why are these bots so aggressive? It's absolutely annoying. I'm gonna finish a race and try to get to like a first place starting position so I can hit the front bo the first box in first place. Way better. Okay, good. Hey, Uncle. What's wood? Gonna finish this race. Get myself another drink. <sighs> what are you guys drinking tonight on this wonderful Saturday night? Lightning frenzy. This would be awesome if I was still trying to collect tokens. seem aggressive. Yeah, I know. And they're like full badge list, so I don't really understand why. Like maybe the one of them isn't a true badge list. Not now. Oh yeah, at a birthday party. Um, I had to celebrate Cinder class today, so I was at my sister-in-law's house. So I'm pretty wiped out from that. Coffee now. I'm drinking rum. <laughs> so, this is actually a fun. Um, this is fun for me because I've never really grinded Mushroom Drawer at Gorge with, um, with coin box before. I've always had to use a non coin box character. Two full days, next time I just invite everyone same day. Is it for your son's birthday or wh whose birthday was it? Oh, excuse me. Like Carlos and it will be a mess. I mean, yes. first box in first place. Um, I, I don't really know why. I don't really know what else I can do to make the bots not so aggressive. They all get a good rocket start. I mean, I don't mind to hit them in fourth place. It's better for a coin box for me, but I want them to, like, not chase me around the track and, like, whoop my ass. How do I get them to do that? <laughs> Yeah. 
Maybe I really have to start in first place. And just stay ahead of them. Fabish first lap. Would require a very good sequence second lap. But I have plenty of tickets, so I might as well use them. What was that? Why did I lose a combo there? I think like sometimes you, you just don't drift enough for your you don't drift enough for your um, for your mini turbo you know, like you don't turn hard enough for your mini turbo to charge properly I don't know what happens like my finger slips or something old man's birthday is Monday is it really Monday yeah, yeah it was in November wasn't it 26, 27, 28 don't like this track don't glow in the glider part is Carlos turning 86? Yes, he's always turning 86. Always turning 86. Second place, this should be good enough, right? Was he turning 85 though? So he's gonna be 37. That's young, man. Carlos is young. Sammy's pretty old, right? Sammy's in his 40s. How old is Sammy? I think he's older than me. Damn, I'm still thinking about that donut, Avi. I want it. <laughs> that sounds so good. Like us decrepit old people with many eggs. Ugh. Yeah, I'm having knee problems now. So is everybody like basically checked out and just waiting for the next tour? Cause I gotta be honest, I'm like Peach Gardens is cool, but I thought it would be way more hyped for a tour with a Peach Gardens with a, with a good Wii track and also uh, another Amsterdam variant. And I I really hope that Amsterdam Three is gonna be. Uh, see us around Pointer. We don't have Krispy Kreme here in Oahu, but Chris went to Maui overnight for Java and bought us a whole case of them. I've actually had those in the US before. They're so good. They're like way better than Dunkin' Donuts. Like way better. We only have Dunkin' Donuts here though. I'm sad to be honest, I don't mind the track, but I wanted a new driver's, yeah, of course. <sighs> I know how it goes. You're disappointed if there isn't a new princess ult. Alexa's is disappointed if there isn't a new Yoshi ult. Anka's disappointed if there isn't a new Donkey Kong ult. <laughs> I know you guys. Good start, coin box frenzy in a single box. Give me them red coins. Give me them red coins. I guess I'm not taking the glider this time. I 
to burn my red shell there. That's okay. 96 first lap. I feel like that could have been better considering the sequence. I don't think it was like a super good coin box frenzy. It was a ticket. No, nothing. I'm holding my turbo too long here. Third place with badgeless bots. Okay. I'll take it if it's a coin box frenzy. My screen started messing up there. I don't know what the hell happened. I'm, I'm gonna get this 200. I'm not gonna finish first. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I feel like since the gotcha is gone, they make less effort as drivers. I guess so, yeah. Like, what if we had. That wasn't even that wasn't even a good run. That was terrible. That's like the sequence I need to double coin. But I, I'm like so skittish because of these aggressive bots. I don't. I'm just focused on front running instead of actually like taking good scoring lines. This is the weirdest thing ever. I just want Merry Mountain back. See, even badges are fast if they take that one path. Double coin box frenzy in the run was it was the run yeah that's that's what you need right it's, I'm, it's a wasted sequence. But I wasn't taking like good lines with my uh, coin boxes because I was so worried about the bots like overtaking me. Coin frenzy. I don't know why I went to the second box there. the ticket there. Doesn't really make sense. Anything I'm doing right now doesn't really make sense. Okay, double coin frenzy. No single boxes so far. Probably need something on each of the last two boxes here to make this run. So I need a single box here and then maybe another frenzy. No. Nope. Nope. Coin box frenzy could do it if it's a good one. It's weird how that works. Bots aren't up my ass this time either. So what's up with that? Remind me how it's crazy doing top 10 ACR. Um, you know, there's a very good chance I don't even get it. And actually, I don't even care that much. This has like, by far been the most... This is the third time I'm going for top 10. And this is the least stressed and the least that I've actually cared about it. I'm just enjoying grinding all these great tracks. So, like, if I don't get it, I'm totally fine with it. I'm not even, like, tracking, like, who's scoring what and what the cutoff's gonna be. I don't care. Decided to make the Knight Luigi, um, level 4, 980. Yeah, that's... I love him. He's so good. Like, I really wanted to invest in him for this tour, but... It, you know, to be most efficient with my tickets. Instead of doing that, I should take Ty Daisy up to. Ty Daisy up to level 8. Coin frenzy. I think I dropped my combo there, too. Which I'm happy about, too, because I, I really think Ty Daisy is, like, super underrated. People just kind of like, oh, she sucks, she's done now, you know, she's a city driver, um, she's a medium coin boxer, but she has such good tracks. She has such good tracks. And yeah, maybe she doesn't, like, retain her value, but for now, for me, she's one of the best coin boxers to invest in. I 
I'm gonna need you for my next top ten. Try to upgrade all the best stuff in my account. I'm already at 101, 115, 115. Just, just, just use um, the ticket calculator. There's this tool that um, Turtle Dude made, which basically you just punch in your inventory and you punch in number of tickets you have, and it will tell you your more most efficient upgrades. But I mean, if you've got a hundred of every kind of ticket, you don't even need my help. Just make everything level eight. <laughs> Maybe the real top 10 badge is the friends we made along the way. I didn't make any friends. This is my thing with the city driver reasoning not to upgrade things. I think we're seeing a shift on Nintendo's planning on how much city courses come back. Yes, but the thing is they need... Like, but the way they're doing it is not... Like, like, if they would just, like, sprinkle in cities in the same way that they do with, you know, every other kind of course, um, then I would say yes, but it seems like they're just gonna do occasional all city courses, and I'm fine to just ignore those for ACR and, like, kind of survive unranked, you know, without investing too heavily. And if that's the case, then I'm still not gonna, you know consider, um, personally at least, consider cities when I'm thinking about what I want to upgrade. Yippee. Man, I like Daisy. I don't care what you guys say. She's cool. Cities seem to come back every two tours now, so I guess in two tours we'll see Singapore three for New Year's. I mean, we get city tours regularly, like, but the whole, the whole thing with the top ten rankings and the whole thing about like valuing the coverage is not about if we get new cities or new tracks in general. It's about what kind of tracks return, because look, every single night, look, 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 okay, we're gonna get um, Peach Gardens. So if we're looking at Peach Gardens N for the coverage for it for next tour. We don't know anything. Like, literally, any item in the game could get that top shelf. We don't know. So there's absolutely no point in talking about what type of tracks, um, you know, items have for coverage when we're talking about what they're going to get buffed on new tracks. So the only interesting thing to look at is the returning tracks, you know? And cities don't really, like, they just, they still don't return that much, you know? And even compared to, like, some of these, like, really old retro courses, like, you know, look, look at Yoshi Circuit. I think I've had Yoshi Circuit five times this year, you know? And that was in the game when it came out, you know? I think it was one of the first tracks. So, if you're gonna tell me that, you know, having, um, Singap one of the Singapore tracks, or having one of the Bangkok tracks, or whatever, I don't know, Berlin, is more valuable than having Yoshi Circuit T, or Neo Bowser City or whatever, I still I'm gonna say I, I don't really agree. Cause because people take like cherry picked examples, they're like, oh, um, yeah, well, you know, we've had um, you know, such and such city track come back like already two times this year and we haven't seen uh, you know, Shy Guy Bazaar or like or you know, Bowser's Castle One or I don't know what much at all. So does it make sense to discount cities? Well, you're basically taking the example of the most common, you know, the, the, the most appearing city course with one of the least appearing retro courses. And we're talking about, you know, the average over the whole type of track, you know. So it's not a fair comparison. I actually need Ty Daisy now for some tracks. Yeah, she has seven exclusives. She's tied for the most in the game. She's really good. Like, she's everything that people wanted King Mario to be. My favorite giant banana driver is Pinja. Yeah, giant Pinja is awesome. Pinja has been like one of the was a for me. There's three. Um, top drivers this year, maybe four. I would say there's Pinja, Meowser, Rosalina Folandam, 
and maybe a Yoshi Gold Egg. Those for me are like the three top drivers this year. Not talking about the Mii suits. The Mii suits are something different entirely. Um, you probably have to put Blockhead and maybe even Gold Mii suit up there a little bit. But I'm not sure about Gold Mii suit. You know, it's, it's it, because of the whole weird way it came out. What is this for a scuffed run? Somehow 98 actions first lap and I'm in 7th place. Spend too much time talking and not enough time concentrating. And also what's up with these bots? Come on. Give me a coin box friendly. Let's go. That's right. You better. Stop stealing my coins you stupid bot. single. Yes, let's go. Wait, am I gonna come in second? No, oh, come on. Oh my god, these bots. When Ice Cream Track's coming back, he's only been useful for me in the last two tours. Who's he? 193. I don't even know what the sequence was there. That it doesn't matter if I can't come first. Fuck's sake. Okay, first place start. At least that's something. Pain. Why? I, I, I don't feel like I've ever had this issue on Mushroom Gorge before. Like, usually my issue with aggressive bots are on tracks with a lot of jumps. Look at those jump boosts. And they stay with you. And usually all you need to do is kind of get ahead of the bots, especially bad just bots. You just do a lot of mini turbos. He's only become useful to me in the last two tours. Gold me. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, I still have level one. But the thing is, like, he came out and it was offered in such a way that, like, even no matter how big of a whale you were, no matter how much, you know, how good you were at winning ranked, whatever, it still was going to take you a full five tours, you know, a full two and a half months before he was available to anybody. And he was in ranked a lot during that time. <laughs> it was like so annoying. <laughs> I think it was like, um, maybe like Amsterdam RT or something. And he was in, he, he got Amsterdam RT as a top shelf. And it was before he was available for Double Coin Frenzy. lap, 100-ish, something more than 100, I don't know. Could use a single box here somewhere. Thank you. I think Coin Frenzy would probably have a good run here. Coin box frenzy would also be okay. Single box. I used it early because I wanted to see what I would get for actions. Yeah, it's not enough. I want 200. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Do you want one? Um, that sounds nice, but I'm uh, drinking whiskey, so I'll, I'm good on the tea. Thank you for the offer, though. And you know, I had gold me for the longest time, level 1, and I thought, I, I, I'm just going to only use him when I really need him. And if I really needed him, then I thought, well, eventually I'll have to invest. Eventually I'll need gold me suit when I go for ACR, when I do a serious ACR. And I went and I looked at my inventory, and I just, just don't, still don't really need him. Which is kind of, I've been kind of looking for an excuse to invest, but it's not happening.
frenzy. Is it just because I take the left path that all the bots are overtaking me? Is that really the, the reason why? something like 80 actions for a slap. I kind of want to get a run here so we can move on to the next track. I've, I've The thing is I have so many boomerang tracks and I feel like I've spent so much time like trying to struggle for a good score on all these boomerang tracks. It's coin frenzies, a lot of coin frenzies today. But I feel like when I get to a coin box track, I deserve to have like, like an easy quick score. <laughs> and it's just not happening here. I mean, I got the sequence, I can't complain about that. Should be the easy 200 track. Why is it not an easy 200 track? I guess it's because I don't get coin box frenzies. <laughs> I think it as soon as you get coin box frenzies. This is why I like boomerang better than um, the coin box. Because a boomerang frenzy, if you hit the first box in fifth place, for a level 8 driver is somewhere around a 1 in 9, 1 in 10 chance. Of, of every single box. A, <laughs> a coin box frenzy is only 20% and if you hit it in first place you only have a 5% base frenzy chance plus 12% from being level 8. So 17% chance for a frenzy, so about 1 in 6 and then only one fifth of that is a chance you get a coin box frenzy. So when you're going for coin box frenzy first box, on average, it takes 30 resets to get a single coin box fr frenzy, which is just way too much. You know, you talk about boomerang, where you get a coin, where you get a boomerang frenzy you get like once per 10 resets. It's so frustrating, especially on those like four box tracks where you're really, oh, Jesus Christ. You really only want coin box, first box, coin box frenzy that is. That was a decent single box. Yes, okay, let's get him. I don't know if that was 200, but it's gonna be close. Hey, Studfit, how you doing, man? Just in time to see me get a scuffed, but maybe acceptable run. 200 exactly. Like I broke the combo in the beginning, and I broke the combo somewhere in the middle. Okay, one, one really one break. The combo at the start doesn't cost me many points. It cost me like nine points, so I'm not gonna count that as a break. Um. 200 exactly, one combo break. Do, do you guys even know what the sequence was there? I think I had coin frenzy. No, it was a coin box, and then a coin frenzy, and maybe another single box, so maybe two single boxes. Coin and coin box. 
it was okay. It wasn't fantastic. Um, and score wise, 61, 234. Yeah, the 243 rather. The the problem with um, the new format of 45 tracks for ACR is that it, it you, you don't like it, like if this was the old format and I had time, this deficit 2.3k, I would I would definitely try to improve that, you know. But <laughs> I don't have time, you know. Single coin, single coin reference. So three singles even. Oh, that was really not that good of a run. Okay. But whatever, we write it down and we move on. There's not much point in going back trying to improve over 200. Um, we're going to do Dino Dino Jungle T, right? This is my ranked. 20... 2.6 million exactly. That was my initial goal when I started out this tour. I wanted to get to 2.6, so I'm already there. And I've got, um, I think, a couple of tracks where I can get some extra score on. So if I can get to 2.65, I think it'd probably be okay for top 10, but I mean, it's going to depend on what else is out, what, who else is doing it going for it. This is such a sad track for. Tuxedo Mario it used to be one of his good exclusives, but it's not anymore. Um, is this really the best card I have on this track? Stupid ass dark buggy. Okay, I guess we're doing it. It's better than Gold Train, I guess. <laughs> I don't have tickets. <laughs> no, I was like, I would totally double cap off roader right now just to not use the dark buggy. But I don't have enough tickets to make a level 7. And we're using a level 8 swooper. Nice track to grind. Let's go. Yeah, this is a nice track to grind. I'm going to have to stuff her with like a kind of not big cart and not big driver, but that's fine. Alright, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to go give notes on this latest script. Ooh. Doing some TV stuff. Avocado was a big shot Hollywood personality. So again, I'm just going to do a couple of runs to remember, a first A, remember how to grind the track, <laughs> remember the lines, and B, get some of the badges off. As you can see, <laughs> my muscle memory isn't what it used to be. This is a fun track though, I love Dino Dino Jungle. All four variants are fun. Bye Abby. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to my television show. If I get a run here that is um, all three of the daisy tracks where I didn't have a proper score on before, I can either go back into um, Riverside Park N and try to improve on the 154 I had, um, or I can go try to grind um, DK Mountain R with Gold Bones. So I'll let you guys think about it, maybe I'll make a poll. I would like to say I think this is not going to take too super long, but who knows. Who knows indeed. Um, okay. Dino Dino Jungle T. Target is 225 actions and just under 60k. So we're going to try to get something around there. Let's put this one in pink so you can see it. I 
the badge bots in this are not, or the bots in general in this are not as rude. I'm just getting like seriously tilted by those bots in Mushroom Course. Like I don't mind if bots are aggressive, you know, but it bothered me that I like took the effort to go to zero badges and they were still messing up my shit. I love that, I love that, like, some, like, bots, they know you have a coin box, so they just, like, park their ass right in front of you, and hoover up all your coins. That's what you get. That's what you get. Any Americans in the chat? How was your Thanksgiving? Having a good Thanksgiving weekend? I had a good Thanksgiving weekend. Um, my brother became a father for the first time. So I became an uncle. I mean, I was already an uncle, but... First time uncle for that side of the family. This seems like it should be a really easy 200, right? For sure. Okay, use a ticket here. Ah. That's okay. That's why I have a ton of tickets. That's why I've been saving tickets all summer. Can afford to spare a few. I broke the combo from the beginning, right? Oh yeah, it's just a sloppy start. Just a sloppy start. Not really paying attention to these runs. Congratulations on the uncleness. Yeah, thanks, man. My uh, my wife's sister has a son who is seven, so I've been an uncle for a while, but uh, this is the first time either of my brothers have uh, had a kid, so. Very, uh, very proud of them, and, um, well, him anyways. Hey. And I welcomed him to uh, at least a few years of pure, unadulterated hell. He called me up and he was like, "Hey, uh, so you have any you have any advice for me? You have any tips? Like, you know, what's it like?" I was like, "You know what? It doesn't matter what I say to you. <laughs> I can tell you literally anything. Nothing is going to prepare you for what you're about to deal with. People just don't know. People who don't have kids just don't know, and you can't explain it to them." And it's not like, like, uh, I don't judge any people for not having kids, obviously. I think, like, more people shouldn't have kids. Like, hell, I probably shouldn't have had kids, but, I mean, it, it's just not something you can explain to someone who hasn't gone through it. My favorite driver, what's her levels? She is level 8 and triple capped. As you will see when I start the next race. And that was the whole point of the stream today. Um, I was waiting on one driver cap ticket so I could triple cap her, and it finally showed up in my daily selects today. So I've been saving all of her tracks all tour to run tonight. I've done three of them, and this is the last one. I could still go back into Riverside Park and after this, but I think if we get a run here, we're gonna go do gold bones. What about the dog cat parents? They're prepared, right? Um, <sighs> they're a little bit more prepared, but it, I would still say it's not exactly the same. You know, I mean, if you want to go on vacation, you couldn't put a dog in a dog hotel for a week, right? If you want to go on vacation, you have a cat. You can have your neighbor come feed it and clean the litter box for a week. If you have a kid. Nope. <laughs> Good luck. 
So yeah, that's that's my tie Daisy. I just triple capped her, um, and I'm honestly I'm really happy with that investment as well. I think she's such a good driver. I would say that if you uh, if you have pets, especially pets that require a lot of maintenance, you're you're more prepared because you um, are used to existing in the mentality of another creature depending on you, you know, constantly. But, I mean, you know. Like, you know, dude, you have kids. Well, I don't want to, like, discount their experiences entirely, you know? I, like, I understand there are people there who, especially people who have dogs, you know, who sacrifice a lot to take good care of their pets, you know? But it's just, I just feel like it's not the same. <laughs> I mean, cats and dogs and pets, they, they grow up into adults, like, within, like, a year or two, you know? Like a, like a cat, a one-year-old cat is, is fully grown, right? And they're an adult. And, yeah, they're still dependent on you, sure, but it, 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 it's a much quicker development process, right? Why did I just miss that entire line of coins? What's going on with me? I think it's the whiskey. Definitely the whiskey. Because I am messing up left and right. Well, at least I kept the combo. As soon as I said that. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, I think, you know, you also make that joke because a lot of times when we're, um, we're trying to arrange our schedules in order to, uh, record a session of the rundown, um, a lot of it is managing, hey, when are the kids around, when is there somebody else available to take care of them, but like, even a dog, you know, you just, just, you know, the dog can be like on the couch and just chilling, and you can be recording, no big deal. I can't play and drink for sure. I asked Anka if I should have kids, and she said no. Yeah, but... It's like chess versus checkers. Sure, playing checkers will help you when you have to start playing chess. Totally different. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're both board games. I can't play and drink for sure. That's why I'm only doing coin box tonight. <laughs> if I was boom boxing, I think I'd be staying sober. I, th I asked Anka if I should have kids, and she said no. Okay, first of all, Anka hates children, which is a respectable, um, respectable uh, standpoint, because I kind of also don't like children, even though I have them. Um, but y you're also like, what, twenty? So, that's not really something you need to make a decision on for a long time. I will say this, I think more people have children than ought to. I think a lot of people have kids who think they want kids, but they don't actually want kids. But yeah, again, it's like kind of tough to, since you don't know what it's like. Swooper is such a cool glider, such a cool old school glider. It's like it's you know back from the old school days, like Rock Rock Mountain and Dino Dino Jungle, Choco Mountain, Gold. Sw Remember Gold Swooper? Like how, like how is regular Swooper somehow now more relevant than Gold Swooper? Gold Swooper was I think Tabor had Gold Swooper as the number one glider in the game at some certain point, or it was definitely up there in the rankings. That might have been to do with the uh, kind of bias towards coin gliders, but I definitely remember Gold Swooper being top 10. One of my friends had a baby this year, and she's so irresponsible. I mean, define irresponsible.
I feel like if you have a kid and you're not really ready for it, there's like one of two ways you can go. You either like grow up in a hurry, <laughs> you get responsible like real fast, or you just go the total other direction and become a complete, you know, shitty parent. <laughs> Oops, derelict. <clears throat> Why is it taking so long to get these badge bots off? So yeah, ACR wise, um, my estimated is now on 2.762. Um, my initial goal was 2.6. Looks like I'm gonna surpass that easily. Um, so now I'm gonna see if I can get to 2.65. That is gonna be somewhere around like 96%. I just, I haven't really had time to do a proper, you know, and, and this is also including the fact that all the battle tracks I've got really terrible, um, really terrible scores on, you know, like missing more than 5k. Just because I'm not, I don't know, I, the, the, I feel like there's something I'm missing about grinding core scores on battle tracks. And I just, I either get like a respectable action count or I get to the well fought bonus, but I can't manage to do both at the same time. And I think it, I, like, you know, the optimist in me would like to say that's just how battle tracks go, and you just have to have an extremely good RNG and extremely good sequence to get a score that's like, you know, the target score. But in the meantime, I'm kind of just trying to figure out what am I doing wrong. Hey, what's going on here? Must have been a banana cannon. Must have been a banana cannon. Yeah, she's like anti-medicine and only had one ultrasound the entire pregnancy. I, um, is she gonna get her kid vaccinated? Like, cause kind of a problem if he doesn't, right? keep hearing about, like, there's a resurgence of all these, like, ancient diseases because, like, people aren't getting their kids vaccinated, which was, like, never really anything controversial, I feel like, up until a few years ago. Yeah, I ain't glad I was bad at battle mode. Yeah, I am bad at battle mode. That's fine. I accept that. Usually when I'm bad at something, I can realize that and also think to myself, okay... I want to be not bad at this. How can I improve and get better? <laughs> With battle mode, I just, I just, I don't want to get better at it. I just don't want to play it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, man, as it stands now, I'm probably gonna, like, if I don't do better on the battle courses right now, I'm gonna, like, leave a gap of 20, like, 30-ish, 30k-ish on the four battle tracks, which is, which is, just, like, terrible. 30k is more than 1%. Um, yeah, it's more than 1%. And, like, in general, you... You know, if you're going for top 10, you're trying to target 100% score. And I, like, I, I've not gotten there in the two times I've gone for top 10. I've ended at around 98% both times. You know, but that's your target. And to lose 1% on only four tracks out of all 45 is just, it's really awful. thought about being feature on car talk um <laughs> i uh i 
have, but I mean, it's uh, first of all, it's usually recorded at a time uh, when I'm not awake, which is evening time, U.S. time, so it's like the middle of the night for me. But secondly, like, um, it's already like quite a commitment for me doing uh, doing the rundown every two weeks. So I uh, I've never. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if I could get in car talk, but I I, I kind of know a guy, you know, so so maybe I could pull some strings and 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 you know get get a, get an invite that way. But uh, no, I I just I, like I, I don't really have time for it. I don't know if she's gonna vaccinate him. She said earlier this year she wanted to. Her son has a serious, pretty serious disability because she gave birth at home and he was really big and got stuck. That's not I. <laughs> Why, why do people do that? Like, what, what, what is wrong with the hospital? I don't understand that. Like, why would you not? Like, there's so many things that could go wrong with having a fucking baby. Why would you not want to be in a place where if any little thing goes wrong, they, they feel like equipped to take care of it? It's like, like pretty popular here in the Netherlands to do that, you know. To have a home birth. Is this a four box track or a three box track per lap? I think it's three, right? Because I know some of them are four. Some of the Dino Dino Jungles are four. I think R is four and RT maybe. was not underneath his foot. It was on the side of his foot. That was mean and uncalled for. Bad clipping. Get out of here with your green shell. Probably should have just held that one. <laughs> I'm still grinding off badges. Do you want to join Cart Talk? Um, I, I, you know what I want to do? I want to do Cart Talk when it's just like you and me and Sammy. I, if I can be totally honest with you, I think five people is too many. Five guests is too many. I think it would be more fun um, to do it with just like you and me and Sammy, or or you know one other person maybe. Like what we did for the New Year's uh, stream, or New Year's recording with you and me and Sammy and Carlos. That was awesome. And the first, the very first card talk, I still think that was the best card talk. Um, with you and Tabor and Card Life. Like that was perfect. I, 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 don't, I don't know why you moved on from that format. So if it was going to be something like that, then yeah, I would totally do it. But at the same time, I mean, like, the stuff that gets talked about on Cart Talk, like, if I want to talk about any of that stuff to the same audience, it we talk about it on the rundown, you know? It's obviously not the same, but I just, I, I kind of feel like I don't really have that much to add um, to Cart Talk, you know? Like, like, my perspective on the game is pretty much out there already. You know, so I feel like it's like me being on cart talk is just kind of redundant. the first episode now. I remember it like yesterday. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> also, I, it's it's a pity that Tabor doesn't do like content anymore. 
This is like a big miss for the community, and I feel like we could use more voices like him who I'm not gonna say are like casuals, but 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 have that perspective that they don't really spend money. They maybe they like gold pass. They they don't really worry about ACR at all. They're like very focused on rank because I feel like that's more representative of your average, you know, Mario Kart tour player who is who is into who is not a casual, you know, but still not going for ACR and stuff, you know. solid feedback we can probably pull something off like that always trying new things i mean it it's also i feel like it's difficult for you to pull together five guests every tour you know so i mean shaking up the format might might make it easier on you like coordinating that getting five guests why is my why is my <laughs> i lost lost connection with the game I hear you. It might be easier for you to arrange it. I should go on Kart Talk. I'm GPO and pretty. I don't know if you're pretty. I feel like if you want what, what is going on? My internet just cut out. Oh, I can't turn off my, I can't turn off my connection without losing my connection to the uh, to my phone okay dino dino jungle T did we um I lost the stream. We lost it. Okay. Um, flow. And I need smart view. And I need to change this to. No, not that. Phone feed. Sorry, guys. Technical issues. There we go. Yes, here we are. Sorry about that. Turtles, if you go on Tart Talk, can you, like, I'm not going to tell you to be normal, because I know that's not really possible, but can you just not... Actually, I don't know. Just just be yourself, I guess, and I'll watch it and be entertained. Yeah, actually, you should go on Card Talk. It would be fun. Stuff it, what do you think about the new tour? I haven't talked to you about it yet. You like hyped about it at all? I mean, I I'm in this kind of ACR bull right now where I'm so focused on grinding and you know my all of my free time is taken up by just trying to get better scores in this current tour. So I haven't really personally had time to even digest um, digest the new tour. So I'm 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 not super psyched about it, even though I should be because it's got a new Amsterdam variant, but. What do you feel about it? I don't even remember if this is a good lobby or not, but I'm starting in first place. So. card in the game. No, see, that that's, that's not what you should do. Well, actually, don't, don't let me tell you what to do. Do whatever you want.
but I actually think it would be cool if we had more people from the Reddit server on those kind of to get more exposure in the community to get that kind of perspective because they're interesting people the coin frenzy I don't even know what this sequence is I feel like I've had some coin frenzies I'm uh, feel like I'm rapidly losing focus here still managing to have a kind of half decent run. Did I drop the combo at all or is this my actual action count? Because if it's my actual action count then it's not a good run. Banana friend. Coin coin banana. Was there a single in there somewhere? I don't know. Target was 59k. Oh, uh, yeah, Adam's been in a member of Studfit's channel for quite a while, um, and yeah, he's uh, he's got handy 187. Okay, it was not so bad. I was looking for 59, six something like that. What was it? Dino Dino Jungle T. Oh, I didn't show the expected here. 59, Okay. You see, even I'm 13 action short of 200. Um, to 225. That's like about 1500 points so three and a half K only 13 actions three and a half K difference that's how much it matters with the high bonus points at like high level loadouts this has two coin box bots so I won't keep this lobby I'm just gonna check the first box see if I get a decent frenzy or something that is said King Mario and Gold PD in the lobby. And you don't want to have coin box bots, especially on a longer track like this, because you don't want to have bots who take away your ability to get single coin boxes. Studfoot is really cool that you're able to show inclusivity in the community. Okay, this is a better lobby. No badges. I think there was no coin box bot there. There's a big delay on the stream. I just hope this bomb cannon bot isn't going to mess me up. I don't like that the first box is so far from the start line in this track. something like 80, 85 actions first left. This should be a very easy 200. Okay. That's okay. I don't mind. No. That was annoying. 118. And I'm missing coins on the track, of course. from the ticket. Oh, I dropped my combo there. Still might get 200 here. We'll see if I get something in the last box or not. A coin and a coin frenzy, and I don't think any singles. I shouldn't actually really go for over 200 here. Like 220 plus. 
I think 225 is actually kind of a low. Okay, no. Connect me to some of the Reddit guys. Thank you guys. I'm looking for to save you next time. I've spent too many tickets lately. I've got to run into dinner time. Yeah, I mean, like maybe like, you know, Hydro or Lars or um, Sparked or, um, I, you know, um, Emilio. Yeah, Turtles knows probably better than me. But I think it would be cool, you know. Have a good dinner, man. Sparked has a level 8 gold double decker, yes we know. Maybe not putting you and Sparked on the same car talk is a better idea. <laughs> issue. I'm skipping the jump there so I can get more coins from the coin box. I'm not sure if that was the right idea or not. I should have used it probably earlier. Oh, hello. I have pretty good luck with frenzies and boxes and stuff, I have to admit. It's like must be streamer energy. Is that a real thing? Streamer energy. 136. Jesus. This should be the run, huh? Even if I don't get anything else. There's a ticket here. Second lap definitely wasn't as good as the first lap, but whatever, this is more than acceptable. Absolutely fine. What is the talk with Gold Double Decker? That card is useless on my account. It's just a meme. It's one of the worst car cards in the game. Why? Why? 58, 564. I am 1k. Okay, that's actually makes sense. That was 213 actions. Anyone know the sequence? It was coin, coin box, banana, and a single, right? Um, 58,564, and That is absolutely fine. Make that one green. Gold is a good card. Anti Liv is trolling. Only trolling you. I'm only trolling you. Okay, uh, what are we gonna do now, guys? Here are the choices. I can go back to DK Mountain. Oh, we were gonna do DK Mountain R, weren't we? I was waiting here. I don't have a a level, oops, I don't have a level uh, glider cap ticket rather, so my black toby movements is level 6 and only 400 and I need a glider cap ticket uh, what cup was that? but the scoring difference, look it's 44k and if you go to 490 it's 40, it's like 900 points not really that big of a deal 
So I thought, let's just go do it. The Waluigi Cup. Waluigi Cup, yeah. DK Mountain R. I have... Let's see what my total score is right now. 26-28. So DK Mountain R. 30k. Thirty K. Get to forty four K. We get close to twenty six and a half. I have a score here, but it's like it's like forty eight K or something ridiculous. <coughs> Same one with this one. don't mind this track. The only thing that's kind of annoying about it is the bots. Okay. If I want to do the half pipe, I should actually ride into the half pipe. Way better than the end version. Uh, the end version so far has been the hardest version for me. Like, I had not that much of a problem with the other ones. Okay, maybe not used the single box going straight uphill. Maybe use the side or something. Um, the end version, the bots are just crazy. So it's like, yeah, I grinded N with Meowser before I realized that um, PD Piranha Suit would also have him. And it is the same level and the same uncapped, but obviously the me base points makes a much bigger difference. Excuse me. I have to learn this track, I'm not familiar with it at all. I've done the RT version, so I kind of know the um, how it works from there, but... Do you guys think DK Mountain is the same as DK Summit, but just in the summer? runs here to figure out what I'm doing. Also had like quite a bit of rum, so <laughs> whiskey rather. some badge list, but I also need to <laughs> I also need to <laughs> learn how to drive this stupid course. Uh, okay, it would be good if I could uncap that once, but I can't, so I won't. <laughs> 44k here. I'm, I, I don't really want to spend that much time on this one. the turbo. Why did I not hold it for the appropriate amount of time? Okay. It's 
stay away from that cat bell. Person character creature. Dropping the combo all over the place here, because I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Should I just skip these half pipes? Is it does it make sense to do that? You don't even get from one to the other without dropping your combo. Okay, maybe not spam all the items on me. <laughs> I was thinking I would get a mushroom or a mushroom frenzy at least. Oh, a mushroom frenzy or a mushroom at least. And I still think I need easy bots for this one for sure. This tiny driver with a big cart is like okay ish. It's okay ish, I guess. One order of 70 actions. Would be. It's actually pretty good. 190 is the target here. I'm surprised the target is less than 200. I feel like with a decent sequence here, 200 should be possible. But I don't know. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. I also thought the same thing about Mushroom Gorge. And I, it required like a ridiculous sequence out of me to even get 200. But that's probably just a skill issue. Skill issue. Mox frenzy. So I'm taking like a slight angle up the mountain here to kind of reduce the amount of the coins that fly straight back over my head. I feel like it kind of worked. Yeah, the the turns going uphill, these turns going uphill are way feel way easier to combo through than going downhill. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to get used to this though. Because I, I don't feel comfortable at all. And you can see that by the amount of times I'm dropping. I'm dropping combo. If you get a single coin box on the first roll, try and save it for after the second half pipe to help maintain your combo. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know, but let's see. Let's see. Single coin box. Try it in the after the pipe. Second half pipe. Okay. It's like a, a pretty long way, no? Holding a single coin box that long. Hmm, I guess you could do it. Can you get two jumps here? You can't, oh, you sort of could. You don't get hit by a fireball. Can you get two jump? See, I hate this when you get into a half pipe and like you have just 
just not enough angle. But enough angle that you can like, stay at the top of the half pipe, but without actually getting a jump action. Super annoying. I'm gonna be right back. I'll uh, need to go to the bathroom. Is it that hard to keep the combo after the half bite? Hmm. I feel like my issues are here not really to do keeping the combo after the half bite. same turns, but I don't know, they just don't feel as difficult as they do going down the mountain. Mm, I dropped it there somehow. Nope. I have a problem a lot where I just 
hold my mini turbo a fraction of a second. Too short. Let's see, is there anyone still on the stream? Five people. Five people still hanging out. That's cool. That is cool. I mean, I was, I'm not like super motivated for this track. <laughs> I don't know why. But hey, we have to. Almost a good lobby. There's one coin box pot. Yeah, that's not too bad. It helps when I have a d Donkey Kong to beat up on with the green shells. It's still pretty challenging though to go full combo on this one, I feel like. Oh, maybe that was the one badgeless and not one. Oh, the job might come over there. Again, didn't hold the mini turbo long enough. Yes, okay, 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 okay. That's our lobby. Of course, the one badge bot is my nemesis, Halloween Mario. It's okay. Okay, right, so you should save this box till till after the half pipes. I guess there's no risk of a lightning um, coming after the first box. Okay, but, but if I save it that long, it's going to interfere with my next set of boxes, which I don't want. I don't think I can hold it that long.
but it's currently a game. Hey, Kian, welcome back. I gotta be honest, I, I'm, I'm not really feeling this track at the moment. You guys have any other good ideas? Something else I can grind, which is like more fun and also relevant for ACR. <laughs> Go back to Choco Mountain. See if I can improve there over 200. Choco Mountain with Ninja Shy Guy. I did this run um, before I upgraded Black Star Ship, so it was only with the Triple Cap Glider, so I did get over 200 actions, but I the sheet says I'm missing some points because I upgraded my glider in the meantime. Which is unfortunate. Bad planning. Bad planning. I think I'm going to do five more minutes and then I'll, I'll close things down. I'm pretty tired. And I had a long day. And it doesn't seem like the stream is super active anymore, so. I think we might call it a day. Carlos 85 raid. Oh, seriously. You guys got me at a bad moment. I'm just getting annoyed with this track. And, like, about ready to. Hey. I'm gonna be in sixth. No, I don't want that. I'm thinking of the other notable woman in the Reddit server WW episode. That would be really cool. It's more just like I have no idea what I'm doing on this track. I've actually had pretty good frenzy luck. I've got some like acceptable runs um, on the stream. I think we wrote down uh, three scores uh, while, while we were together tonight. Um, and they're basically all good sequences and mediocre performance. So my friendly luck has not been bad. We got 213 on Dino Dino Jungle T. We got 200 exactly on Mushroom George, I mean Mushroom Gorge. And we got 200 or 199 or something on Riverside Park RT, which is the one we started with. Was it Riverside Park RT? Yeah, this one. One, no, not that one. Uh, this one. 206. To a run of 206 with a very good sequence. And honestly, the score should have been better. Three more restarts, and I am calling it a night. I'm gonna kind of grind it out for today. Still got three more days after this, and I'm almost done with the tracks. 
I've got a score on basically everything. Um, the ones where you see a blank space, I I grinded a bit, but I just didn't get anything that I thought was worth writing down yet. But I got three days to get it. Okay, last reset. Don't get an interesting frenzy on the first box. I think that's it. Second place. It's the worst place to hit the box. Alright, let's quit this. Thank you guys very much. Uh, it was fun to stream. Um, don't know if I'm going to do much streaming anymore. Um, maybe Monday, Tuesday night. We'll see. Probably not tomorrow night. Um, I want to do some more boomboxing, um, and I'm not sure how good that's going to be on the stream, but we'll see. Um, anyways, thanks for joining tonight. I'm going to wish you all a good night, close the stream, and see you next time.